everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be conducting a bit of an experiment. As a makeup artist for over 20 years, I have had a lot of clients sitting in my chair that have been wearing some makeup that, to put it bluntly, it just aged them. And in doing YouTube videos myself for a couple of years now, I've done both natural and glam looks, and I've heard time after time from the viewers that they find that my more minimal makeup looks make me look younger. Of course, life shouldn't always be about trying to look younger. It should be about just being happy and doing what makes you feel good. So that's why I'm not titling this video Makeup Mistakes, because if you love big lashes and lots of lip liner and sparkle on your lids, then go for it. I can tell you that I will never stop wearing the things that I love. But what I wanted to see today for both you and myself is if I did a side-by-side -side comparison, would I look that much younger? I'm just curious. Again, I love to be glam and I will always stand firm in my belief that people should wear what they love. So if I wanna go out in this look and somebody thinks that I appear 10 years older than I am and would prefer to see me in you know, less makeup, no lip liner, no highlight, then that's their opinion. But if I feel comfortable in how I look and what I'm wearing, then that's what really matters. Full disclosure, this look that you're seeing on me right here is not one that I would typically wear even on a night out. But I did this so that you could see how changing it up just a little bit could be actually more beautiful and more young looking, more youthful looking. So first, I wanna analyze this makeup. So as you can see, I have on full coverage foundation, heavily lined lips, dramatic winged eyeliner, big lashes, some sparkle on my lids, bold blush, and heavily lined under eyes. So now what I'm gonna do is I am going to remove half of my face and we are going to start reapplying the makeup but in a different way. I'm starting by applying Estee Lauder Double Wear, which is the same foundation I have on the other side. This time though, I'm using a damp beauty blender and just stippling it all over my skin. You don't have to give up your full coverage foundations to achieve a lighter look. You just have to apply them a little differently and use less than you think. Often you see YouTubers using way too much foundation and concealer, which can look heavy, cakey, and aging. For my concealer, I'm using the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion. As you can see, I'm not applying it in a huge triangle under my eye. I'm concentrating it just on the dark circles and by the sides of my nose. On my right side, I have used a full coverage foundation powder, which when placed on top of a full coverage foundation can look pretty cakey. You should just use a loose setting powder like this one from Lawless. I'm just dusting it very, very lightly over my skin. And for my bronzer on the right side, I used Benefits Hula. But now I'm going to use a much lighter shade this is the Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Dark. This was a trick I learned from a MAC artist who just said to really lighten up on the contour for every day. It just looks a lot more natural. And for blush, I've recently started getting into creams and I really love this one from Laura Mercier. Instead of the blush sitting on your skin, creams just sink into the skin and make you look like you're glowing from within. And one of my favorite highlighters is this one from Marc Jacobs. It's also a cream, but it doesn't emphasize texture and it just gives a beautiful glow. Now for my brows, I decided I'm going to use this taupe shade versus the brown shade that I used on the other side. You know, some days I like my brows to be darker, but if I want a lighter, more natural look, I stay within the range of my natural brow hair. So that's what I'm doing here, just applying a taupe shade versus a brown. Another thing 
I like to do for a natural fluffy brow look since mine are very sparse is to take a fiber brow gel and brush the hairs up to give them a more natural appearance. I'm once again using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry Palette, but this time instead of applying a shimmer under the brow and in the tear duct, I am applying a matte shade. I'm using the same color in my crease, which I believe was birch. I will put the correct shade on the screen. This is the same thing I did on the other side. I typically do my eyes the same way every time. I just adjust the colors and intensity used because I find this is what works best with my hooded eye shape. Instead of using a glittery color, I went with a soft shimmer. Now, to some people you might think glitter, shimmer, same thing, but they're really not. Glitter particles are definitely something that I personally would reserve for nighttime and can really accentuate texture, but soft shimmers, especially the ones that are out these days, are very smoothing and actually make the lid look more youthful. And now instead of doing a winged liner with a liquid, I'm just taking a flat brush and a matte black, the one that's in the palette, and lining my upper lashes, my lower lash lines. I'm just smudging the brown shade concentrating on the outer thirds of my eye. I'm just doing a nice soft smudging of that color. Now I'm curling my lashes, I'm going to put on some mascara. And I am still going to be wearing lashes, but instead of wearing big heavy ones, I am taking some light wispies, trimming them to make them corner lashes, and applying those for a much softer look. Now instead of wearing lipstick, lip liner, and gloss, I'm opting for a sheer My Lips But Better color. This new formula from Charlotte Tilbury, the Superstar Lips, is shiny and sheer and makes your lips look really plump and soft but not overly done. All right, I have gone ahead and applied the lighter makeup to the other side of my face. So what do you guys think? I wanna hear from you in the comments. Does this make me look younger? Do you like this look better? Or do you prefer the original? And as I said in the very beginning, and I feel like I can't stress this enough, if a heavier makeup look is what you like, then by all means, rock it. I would never tell someone to stop doing what they're doing. But if they came to me and said, hey, Risa, I do feel like I wear too much. I want to tone it down a little bit. I want a fresher, more youthful look. This is what I would have recommended to them. The things I just showed you in that video are the tips and tricks that I would recommend to anyone who's interested in maybe testing out some new ways to apply their makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not currently subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an upload. I do try to upload at least two to three times a week. I also have Instagram, uh, Snapchat, which I don't really use much anymore, Facebook and Twitter. All of those are the same name. It's all Risa Does Makeup. So thank you once again for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you again very soon.